Good evening. We're all here. Every single one of us. So now this is the first time we're all together in the new year. Because there's always something. Um, yes, I'm calling you out, Kevin. <laughs> That's fine. I know where you live. <laughs> oh, God. No. He does. <laughs> I just love the realization in Lindsay's voice. Like, oh, no, he actually does. <laughs> Let's get into a lengthy recap here, because... Can't wait to hear all y'all fucked up. Fill in some blanks here. Um, gonna need this. But, last week in the darkening of Mirkwood... Let's see if Brian he... killed me. <laughs> That's okay, he does emotionally. The... Fellowship um, split into two groups. Uh, Nela and um, Arachrim were going to lead the charge at dawn with the Woodman forces to attack the Black Tarn and kick out the Goblin and Orc squatters that captured and ransacked it some weeks ago. But, but before that, led by Hathas and Mathan, four other Woodmen would infiltrate uh, the Black Tarn, just before dawn, and see if they could find the leadership of the enemy forces. After initially approaching the wall and getting over, uh, Hothus uh, took point, um, which was not previously discussed, <laughs> but got a battlefield promotion and had to <laughs> assume control of the operation. He led uh, Mathan and the Woodman on a stealth mission, 
moving through the Black Tarn, looking for what would be the enemy leadership. They ducked from cover to cover, from destroyed building to shadowy alley, until they eventually came to swarm, almost sort of the center of town, where one of the more intact buildings was. Uh, they got closer to it and heard some l voices coming from inside, um, languages they didn't understand, uh, and just sort of like rambunctious uh, discussions. And in an attempt to try and figure out who might be inside and what exactly was going on, uh, uh, Hoppus met a large, uh, f friendly, although maybe not a little off-putting, uh, individual, uh, as an orc came out who seemed to be completely drunk and struck up a conversation with Hoppus that was, uh almost getting him into trouble and being revealed. However, Hothus um, stuck to a story that was sort of thrusted upon him that he was actually from Tyrant's Hill and they were came in early and they had information for the leader and they had to get, the, get it to them. Uh, accepting this uh, to some extent, but would not refuse that the, a meal, this orc insisted that Hothis uh, gets some mutton in him while he goes and finds the leader. Leaving him alone to his own devices for several minutes, uh, the orc left and Hothis stayed there and downed some questionable meat, which was immediately brought back up, uh, <laughs> spoke Gross. to another orc, and then quickly realized that the sun was about to rise, so time was running out. The drunk orc, who turned out to be the chef of the area, uh, did return, gave Hothis uh, an, an idea of where to find the leader, and then they, they set off uh, from there, uh, Hothis and Mathan and the Woodman in tow. When they came to him, uh, without hesitation, Hothis immediately attacked with his axe, uh, attacking the cloak, black cloak and hooded uh, individual who had two orc guards and surrounded by a bunch of goblins. And it's Surprise, that, motherfucker. As soon as that attack happened, Nayla sounded the attack for the assault on the Black Tarn. Bouncing back and forth between these two fights, the, the gate was initially uh, taken and the defending force was pushed back uh, as Hothis and Mathan continued this fight. Most, actually, I think all of them, all the woodmen died that went in the strike force. Uh, one lived. One, one yeah. lived. Huzzah! <laughs> he shall get a medal to be remembered by. Duh. Um, after the initial attack, the uh, the leader disappeared into the shadows and left the orcs and goblins to fight this, this assassination attempt. As most of the goblins were being slain and even marsh dwellers came to join the fight, uh, seeing an opportunity as Hothis and Mathan were playing a bit of a uh, game with one another, who could could they kill a bunch of these enemies, but still will remain within a certain value of each other? During that, as Mason was trying to... Yeah, Hoppus issued you a challenge. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like I would take it. Oh, you did? You did. <laughs> um, Sucks when DM knows you. <laughs> yeah, you missed that fight, or I actually had to control your character. Um... During the process of this competition, uh, Mathan uh, made an attack, killed one of the orcs, and turned to Hothis uh, to instruct him of his current score value. And in this response, Hothis seed a shadow jump from behind him and go to make a strike right at Mathan at his back. But at the last second, Rude. knowing that attack would strike true, a bluish green shimmer came off of Mathan and separated from him, and another man, almost wraith like, came out and parried off the attack. There are Neil! Yes! <gasps> I've been waiting to use that. You did use one charge of that, so you can mark that off. Um, the attack, the, the fighting ensued as seeing that the attack was immediately parried off, the individual decided to rinse and repeat, run off, try to hide, and go from there. 
unfortunately, Mathan caught up to him and cut him down. And the leader was slain. <clears throat> A counter a counterattack was put back on the gate, which also was pushed back, and eventually the rabble rouse of goblins were uh, s scattered, and the remaining of the woodman forces spread out throughout uh, the Black Tarn to cut down any enemy forces that would still be around. Um, in this time, the fellowship reunited. They. Mathan and Hothis brought the news that the leader was slain, and Nayla requested to see this individual. With Mathan leading, they went back towards where the fight happened, and they found the body of the slain uh, uh, leader. Nayla removed the hood and the face mask to reveal a dead, familiar face of Salfos Fey. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Damn, son. Effing sad. <clears throat> and that but is where we left off. Didn't have a chance against Nathan and I combined. <laughs> uh, you also used an action surge, Nathan, so you can mark that off as well. Time my permission. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't use second wind if that makes you feel any better. I did, because Salfos hit me once and oh ho ho! <laughs> Got a boo -boo. Yeah, you're, you're lucky the first attack you made was technically surprise because you didn't get reaction for that one. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> but that is where we left off. And that is roughly where we're going to begin tonight is immediately after that. Nayla had um, walked off in a bit of a tizzy seeing a dead companion. <laughs> I don't want to say a huff that doesn't sound good. So, upset. Yeah, upset Distraught, makes more sense. Stressed. Um, but the three of you uh, are currently still by uh, the body of Salfos. Um, the woodman forces are sort of mopping out, mopping up through town. There are still goblins and orcs around. They're, the fighting is by no means over, but for the most part, the the, the black tarn has been retaken. What would we like to do? Um, I know for Nayla, after a few moments of walking away um, very briskly, uh, I know that um, she would end up starting to, um, quietly to herself, just start kind of looking around at all the carnage and scanning the body, so to speak, like I trying to identify them or whatnot, um, but she in particular is also going to look for one specific potential one, too. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Mm, can I argue perception? I guess it is investigation. Poopy butt. Well, it depends. Are you looking for, like, corpse piles? <laughs> Are you looking for prisoners? Like, what? I know you're looking for someone, but are you just sort of, like, looking throughout town? Like, how are you narrowing your search? Oh, because if you're looking um, for some, like like a if you're looking for like a corpse piles or prisoners or something like that, you'd have to find that. That would give you perception. Okay, I know she would at least start where um things like that are more concentrated so prisoners and or i guess piles and then after that she would just start looking for any other ones strung about or laid about either inside or just outside of black tarn okay so investigation still then sure yeah oh, okay uh, let's do it I don't know why I rolled advantage. That was still toggled. My bed. You look about um, near the docks. There are several sort of like iron cages. Uh, a couple of skeletal remains in them. And one or two 
um, like gaunt bodies that are dead, um, but they haven't sort of entirely decomposed yet. Um, you don't see what you're looking for there. Uh, you press on for s probably, what, another hour or so looking around? Yeah, she, um... I think with how upset she is right now and with how things have been going on so far, her upset is gonna turn into, like, just die-hard determination through through her frustration and whatnot. Yeah, you, you walk along the, the walls, um where several of the bodies are spiked uh, as warnings. Uh, you inspect each one. And you don't see what you're looking for. You spend a good amount of time looking throughout the village of corpse piles, um, random buildings, spot checking. No sign of who you're looking for. Where the fuck are you? Your beard, your shield, your axe, your something. Uh. Um, how long has it been? Two hours? As long as you were willing to search, but if, if I can, uh, search, it, if I can squeeze does not in an hour up. for at least a short rest, I'm gonna do that. Like I said, the area is still there's still orcs and goblins here. Yeah. I thought the they were flushed out. I thought they flood, were no. flushed out of the town. No, that's currently happening right where we left off. Uh, uh, so Akron will just help continue leading troops and uh, fight goblins and stuff and drive them out. Okay. Um, I think Nayla will probably spend a few hours to be honest, just trying to do this, looking for any sort of sign and whatnot until someone runs into her that needs her attention or calls for her or otherwise that just breaks her concentration. Okay. During that, um, over the period course of that time, uh, most of the goblins and orcs have been killed, rounded up, um, or disappeared one way or the other um so it's now probably several few hours past dawn um day is warming up it's a bright sunny day so the the woodmen probably capture probably a, a handful of goblins and an orc and sequester them away for now uh most are killed off uh or forced out so at this point, as Nayla continues to search, those that are want to can take their short rest. Yes! Get back my second wind. Get back <laughs> my action surge. Just say I'll take back my action surge now. That was uh, without my permission. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's spend some hit dice. Uh, DM, is my damage up to date? Yes. Okay. God damn, I got that low. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, two hit dice, and I'm back on top. In the course um, of your searching, Nayla, you continue eh. to find nothing. Oh, Don't man. You. I gotta have... Let me see. Um... There's gotta be oh 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 um all right all right uh instead of looking like that i'm going to this might work in the way i'm thinking of it's a little stretched potentially let me read my abilities here <laughs> um i think after searching for i think after searching like that i think if this works the way I'm thinking it will, um, Nayla's going to switch her tactics a little bit out of pure frustration. Um, she... let's see... She's going to, instead of looking across her, um... 
through bodies and whatnot, she's gonna start looking down at her feet for specific tracks that are still feet, uh, footprints, but a little larger than humans. Something that might belong to a dwarf. And she would like to try to track those if she can find any. Okay, um, you can certainly do that. Um, yeah, sure, go ahead and give me a survival check. So I have advantage. Okay. Because of tracking, right? Hold on. Uh, no, that's com my combat rules. Uh, tracking investigation. Uh, while tracking other creatures, automatically learn exact number and sizes. Advantage on sur survival checks when tracking others through the wilderness. Am I still in wilderness? <laughs> Where are you looking? Ah, um... <laughs> I guess I'm not. Then it's are you, not. Are you looking in town? Oh, she would be looking everywhere. Um, I, 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 I'm gonna start out of town, um, because I feel like at this point in her search, she would have started center in town where she left off with okay. with the others and then moved out. So I guess technically okay. by now she would be out of town, like on the perimeter or something. So outside the wall near the forest? Yeah. Like out in the fields? Yeah, probably starting to see if he got ended up getting dragged away or something first. Or like what if there are just other tracks. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean- uh, go, ahead, go, go ahead and give me a survival check and advantage then. Okay, dokies. Anything at this rate. I feel like the most common question I get in this there game is, are we in wilderness? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of a silly question to ask, but <laughs> I most take all the advantage you can get, man. I most commonly it's just, ask a, it's just an interest. It, it's an interesting like, thing to stop and think about: is where's the line of civilization and yeah. wilderness? Well, because uh, for wanderer too, almost everything is in regards to whether you're out in wilderness or not. So yeah. <laughs> it's very interesting in terms of mechanics. All right, because most of it's built around like your your urban or civilized settings are where your social encounters are. Right. And then everything else is out in the wilderness. Mm hmm 25. You... I got something funnier in 24. <laughs> you go outside in the fields, um, and you look around, and it's initially needle in a haystack. <sighs> a, a several hundred pairs of feet just came through here along with horses and everything so it is initially yeah. looking very difficult to find anything so you start moving out a little bit further away um and you go to areas where the grass is less touched um more straight up not near as flat and a little bit more wild currently it takes you a while but you do eventually find a set of footprints <sighs> that seem to be not m almost mirrored by another set that you can tell. Go ahead and give me a medicine check. Oh, medicine or survival? Mm -hmm. I'll do another survival. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <Wah>. Man. <laughs> I just saw that meme. Just I'll I'll do survival. The fuck you will. <laughs> oh no! All right, I'm not sure I'm liking these rules either so far. Or last week, Matt. I'm good at these. That's why I chose it. Immediately fails. <laughs> I think we just need to shut the fuck I up. I failed on the reroll too. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I think you rolled the same thing twice. Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the um, funniest things. There is a set of feet almost mirroring the ones that you're looking for. Um, they seem heavy, um, but you can't quite place what it is, species, uh, or anything like that. But the ones you're looking for are here, and you see them move about almost like circular in, in a pattern until oh. at one point you do see... Um, almost actually several feet from one another you see the feet sort of dance around from one another and then you see a, almost as you get down on your hands and knees and you sort of trace 
the earth with your hands through the grass, and you feel a, a decent sized like divot in the earth. You're like, that's interesting, but you, the 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 um, tracks you're looking at g- walk away from this divot. So okay, you get up and you start following those. And then you notice the pair, the other pair, come with it from away from that divot as well. And then there's the beginning to circle one another again. Oh. And then there is a thicker, shorter divot there, where you are. And you trace that off from there, and it feels like a, almost like a a plow or something came through from here, and it oh, veers fuck. off from a distance. You get the feeling that this was a fight. Mm -hmm. And at the first one, someone fell. And so, naturally, the person walked away, and somehow the fight continued, and then someone fell again. Mm -hmm. And was dragged off. Looks like we're getting that Scooby-Doo one-shot after all. (laughs) And it just... You basically go full Aragorn mode, where you're just like down, sure do. like a dwarf lay here. <laughs> this happened, and this happened. <laughs> um, Trying to flee away from the battle. Mm-hmm. But yeah. And if I look toward the direction of that that plowing uh, divot, Dr- dragging sort of divot. Yeah. yeah, sorry, the dragging. Um, and I look off toward that direction. There's nothing really in sight. It just seems like that dragging goes off for a bit, or goes off for a bit into the tree line depends on how far maybe you want to follow it yeah I'll follow it okay you follow the the matted down what was matted down grass you can see it's still trying to come up from it and you see the upturned earth that what was dragged through here was very heavy very dense um, and eventually it gets to the tree line, and then you start, or it gets about 20, 30 feet from where it was, and you notice, um, horse hoof prints. And that was move along with the dragon. And it goes all the way towards the tree line. And while you're observing this, it's starting to get muddied by, um, several hundred, uh, feet that are heading off towards Black Tarn. If you are going to continue it from the tree line, I'm gonna need another survival check. Towards Black Tarn? The other hundreds of feet heading towards Black Tarn. Oh, cause that's, okay. Um, yeah, sure, I'll do another. Is it still with advantage or? What's the the ability? Is it always uh, for... just tracking? <laughs> it's not like one time use or anything? Mm, let me double check that. It's. Uh, advantage on all survival checks when tracking others through the wilderness. Sure. Yeah, go ahead and give me another one at advantage. Thank you, dokies. I'm really nervous. I can't <laughs> do the... Just that rest and he's like... Can't do the alphabet. There we go. The oh, jeez! <laughs> yeah, really, Mate. she totally wandered off. <laughs> Mate is kind of sitting there with a headache being like, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> was I even fucking there? God. Was it something? Was there something in my drink? <laughs> this, is how, this is how Nathan takes a level in Slayer. He just raged the night before, and it just... <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolute ape shit. Character development. <laughs> oh, not confident in this. Not with that attitude. Well, once you get past into the the tree line. You follow the horse tracks along that uh, with this dragging. You come to the conclusion at one point, whatever was being dragged was tied to the horse, and the horse dragged it. Right. Um. You follow it for sixty, eighty, two hundred. Oh crap. 500 feet from where you initially found it, and it presses on. Are you gonna continue to follow this? (sighs) 
I want to, but I am so far away. Um, can I take a quick gander of my surroundings? Does it seem like I'm being watched or followed or anything by any leftovers or or stragglers from from the big fight? Or if there's an eerie presence nearby or anything like that that just seems unsettling as I'm by myself here. Go ahead and give me a perception check. I feel like there needs to be a check for just like like sixth sense kind of thing <laughs> like you get an eerie feeling I, I feel like that would be a wisdom check yeah, yeah. Just like straight wisdom maybe yeah. insight 26 uh, you look around um, from where you are deeper into the forest now um, it's quiet you hear some animals around. Uh, you don't see anyone. You don't hear anyone. Doesn't appear like you're being stalked or followed at this point. And the, the, the break in the ground from the dragging, it's still the same depth, basically the whole way. Like there's no indication that they slowed down to stop anytime soon. Or like, I, I feel like the ground, oh, no, that doesn't quite work in my head now that I think about it. I'm trying to be scientific the, here. <laughs> the, the path is uneven. So there's roots in the ground. It's not consistent by any means. So the dragging does appear to randomly stop at some points, but continue. Um, but you, as a tracker, sort of, if something was being dragged through here, it, you sort of just chalk that up to terrain and erosion over the course of however long this might have been. Okay. Um, I know I cannot be lost under any circumstances, so because of that, do I know which direction I am traveling in? That is true. I will say is if, to, if I remember correctly, not getting lost specifically says under normal circumstances. Oh, fine. <laughs> anything, anything magical or shadowy could still, in theory, make you get lost. Fine. Uh, the yeah, the probably. Elven Path, as an example, if you stray from it, you will become lost. So. Fair um, enough. So to your, as far as you can tell so far, you you're not lost. You know where you are. You know what direction you're going. Uh, you are heading in a southeasternly direction. You're probably <clears throat> less than a mile, I'll say, from where um, it becomes. It south, from? wait, southeast. So not the direction of. Or yeah, sorry, just south. Oh, um, south. You're probably a mile from where it will t become Western Eaves to the Narrows of the Forest. I'm a mile from the Narrows. Essentially. Yeah, I'm not going to keep going then. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I will... I will backtrack. Um, I'm gonna turn around and backtrack, but I'm gonna keep eyeing the tracks and basically follow them backwards to make sure um, I'm not missing anything if I did miss anything the first time from what I okay. perceived. And I'll just head back into Black Tarn where the majority of the bodies are. No, bodies as in people. <laughs> not not dead bodies. <laughs> There's dead bodies there, too. Yeah, no, I mean people hanging about. Alright. <sighs> you make your way back. Um, you don't feel like you missed anything, but you have a decent idea of what happened. Um, there was a, a duel between two or three individuals 
um, either somebody was knocked unconscious or slain and somebody else continued the fight another one of those individuals fell the one that you were tracking and they were dragged off and I <laughs> That's and I um and I can't tell exactly by race based on the size of footprints or anything just for which for which one the uh the one I was for? tracking the ones you were tracking wait the ones you were initially tracking, you know what they were because you were looking for them. Oh, so I do know. The ones okay. that were mirroring it, I had you check on and you have no idea what those right. were. Right, but I do know, but I do, okay. But I do know who I was tracking, essentially. You're fairly confident. Okay, all right. Yep, I'll head back. Um, and as she heads back, the, she just gets, uh, Nayla's gonna completely just wind down and kind of sag her shoulders and everything from from it all. She spent all of her energy just doing this, and now she's just... It, we won, but she feels defeated a bit at the same time. Okay. Yeah, you make your way back. Uh, what are the... At this point... Yeah, you guys rested for an hour, and Nayla was still gone, so... Is there anything else? Yeah, you I was gone for a while. This was going on. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to find Avana, I guess. Okay. So I'm just going to sh sharpen my swords after I rest, kind of like a little rest up moment, clean off the orc blood. And you know what? Fuck it. We're going full Mathan fashion. Let's find ourselves a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna get drunk. Conveniently, you know exactly where that is because that's where Hothus met the chef. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, Nathan goes to cleans off, clean off his weapons at the tavern that was like the basically the only building left intact uh, from the initial assault. Um, Hothus, you look around. Um, you ask around a couple of uh, woodman groups. Uh, and they eventually point you in the direction of Avana that's out by near the docks. Uh, and you see her from a distance. Her and about three other woodmen um, are sort of emptying the iron cages that are back there and shoving in the goblins that they have captured. And there's probably about five goblins and an orc. Avana. Aye. Have you, uh, have you seen the, the general at all? <laughs> I haven't seen her about. I can't say that I haven't since the, we got through the gate, actually. I mean, we, she su survived the battle, right? Everything happened so fast. Yeah, <laughs> I, I talked to her right yeah. after it, but then she, she just gone. I'm afraid I don't know where she is. Oh, well, that's not good. That's, that's not alarming at all. <sighs> oh, well, I was alarmed. No, no I was being sorry. Never mind. Should we <sighs> dispatch a search party? Has anyone oh, seen her? Sweet God. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. We need to make sure she's not in danger. Right, we're still cleaning up around here, and who knows if there's anything lying in wait in the forest. We can't, we, we can't lose her before the assault on Tyrant's Hill. That would be... I agree. All right, I... You three, go with Hothus. See if you can find the general. I will make sure these lot are locked up. And I'm just gonna go look for Nayla with these three. All right. You guys, <laughs> you guys head out. You you comb through a bit of the village at first. You don't really find anything. Um, at this point, like you'd probably spend about thirty minutes just briefly looking through uh, the village, and then you decide to look. Uh, outside the walls and at that point you 
you see off in the distance coming, emerging from the forest. Ways off, but somebody is walking your way. <laughs> High in the sky. Card! Yeah, you see a bird circling. <laughs> High up in the sky. It's a room. <laughs> this. This is probably her, but stay on your guard just in case. Even oh, if it God. is, even if it is her, there could be stragglers hiding in the woods. Nalo, you eventually make it back, and there is Hothus and three woodmen at the gate. <laughs> Where were you, Nayla? I said I was going for a walk. You, but you went for a walk outside the southern gate of the Black Town in the direction that all the orcs retreated. Mm-hmm. What? Think I was going to get attacked? It's very likely. N none of us should be alone, least of all you. If, <sighs> if something happened to you before the final assault on Tyrant's Hill, that would shatter morale. I was looking for leads. I understand. But keeping well I have survived my myself out in the wilderness for many years prior to all of this. I can handle myself for the most part, especially with that one above me. I don't doubt your abilities or your strength. But even enough orcs, enough goblins can take anybody out. And when you were on your own, you you only had yourself to worry about. But now you you have a family again. You have your people again. <laughs> it's a bit more of a risk than when you were alone. All right, all right. I am sorry. Next time, just take some woodmen with you. We'll take sure. one of us, or a couple of us. Sure. I'll do that next time if that makes everyone feel better. Um, but spare me more lectures. You sound like Alvana right now. Well, I wouldn't talk to her first, so... <laughs> you talked to her first? Yes. I thought maybe <sighs> she knew where you were. Um... Oh, you think she'd be used to it by now. Well, all right, well. Nonetheless, we need to all convene and discuss what our next steps are. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, how's everyone looking so far? Nathan, as far as I know, is getting drunk, um, and I haven't seen a Rackrin around. He's wasted no time doing that. All right, all right, let's convene. Um, and then I will go yes. grab Mathan and find a Rackrin and bring them along too. All right, if okay. see I find this. Wait, I can't do my I'm drunk. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, Mathan, you you've had enough. Put that down. No more. I, I don't even have any. I don't even know what the fuck we're role playing here because I didn't have any. It's bullshit. Oh, this is now the dad of the group. Oh my god! First male was the mom. <laughs> well, fine. We'll do a quick RP of this. I only had two drinks. I cheered to the soldiers around, whatever the fuck, if they are there, and I'm just gonna be like a kid, just not wanting to go to school with Hoth. I was like, no, come on, one more. You do find some uh, type of meat over a stove fire in the tavern. Um, Hell yeah. No, Hell yeah. Nathan, no. <laughs> that, that, that meat is no good. Trust me. You know what? I'm going to attempt, I'm, I'm going to test him like, like a kid, just like put my cup over the, the barrel and then just like slowly bringing it down. The more he says no. I'm going I to... <laughs> I just feel like just causing havoc right now. I, I'm going to uh, grab Mason and just just drag him out. <laughs> just drag him out by the ankle. He's on his. Uh, body. can like, I? No. <laughs> can I get my meat first and take a like, if, even if it spills, take like some sips of it. <laughs> take yeah. it to go. Yeah. Just take it to go. 
<laughs> Please drag me by the ankle and I'll have my cup straight up in the air and be like, still didn't spill it. <laughs> huh. uh, you, you, you dip the, the, the horn mug into the, uh, the barrel of mead, and as you're walking out, you put on like a like one of those white lids, those silicone white lids on top of it. Like, all right. <laughs> Take a sip and of it. I want a bendy Pumpkin straw. mead. <laughs> <laughs> bendy straw. And, all right, the uh, four of you. Yep. Uh, with Mathan's mead in hand. Um, convene outside the tavern as, uh, woodmen are setting up, um, medical tents, places to basically just situating a camp, because right now, um, for the most part, without direction. What would you like to do? Have well, I, want should, my, I want my fucking drink. We should, now we uh, can have at it. This is bullshit. We should also find Avana. Gus. Fuck off and I want my meat. <laughs> I didn't say that in character. <laughs> through a rough tone. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm trying to drink to remember, man. Mm -hmm. I'm not drinking to forget. I'm trying to drink to remember. What the fuck did I do yesterday? <laughs> oh, you're Our the power. one who single right. you you you're the one who killed the leader. Yeah, I... Just slowly coming back to you. Yeah. You, you you ran your sword. Right through Salphos' torso, right through his heart. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> Wait, wasn't he your friend? So, Nathan's I mean... got three permanent shadow points. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta try and RP, what is it? I have it down right here. I think it's resentful, arrogant, and overconfident, so... Oh I my god! Right. I think it's, it's all that shit right. hand. <laughs> Even though I forget to, I try to RP it, but goddamn, I do not like it. <laughs> You're good. Okay, well, <laughs> let's find you... Avana. You can drink your mead on the way. You promise? Yes, you already have it. Just drink it. Fuck yeah. Am I there already? Yeah, you're all together. He's at a, he's at oh, all four I thought you. I was reconvening. I wasn't sure if I had reconvened <laughs> with all three of you at this rate or just. Oh just no! If, havoc at this point. Uh, no, at that rate, right when he's about to drink it, I'm gonna smack it down out of his hand. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at her like it on the ground. Back at her ground. Her. Why? Drink later when we get Tyrant's Hill. We got things to do. But we got the black tarn. Damn yeah, and I second. might know where Vidar is. Do you want to lead the way, or do you want me to kick off something? Like, what are we doing here? We're going to speak to Avana first to get all the details, and then... Why does everybody there. want this Avana? All right. Uh, she's my second in command. Woo. I will punch you. You know this. <laughs> and th threaten me with a good time. <laughs> I've, I've been punched by Vidar, speaking of which. You think I can't take a punch from you? <laughs> like how Nathan was just like, we got Hastings, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hastings. Talk more and I'll get Haru at you. Oh, not my boy. You already spilled my drink, now you want my boy coming at me? What did I do to make you hate me so much? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making a havoc right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm you not... have to make up from last week. Yeah, I'm not yeah, sorry, really? by the way. <laughs> All, right. All right. As you guys walk and talk, um, you make your way over to the docks where Avna is. Is um, As you walk up, you see one of the goblins in the cage sort of like reach out and collide against it as she like as it tries to like grasp out at avana and she grabs its wrists and turns it backwards and shoves them back into the like mind your manners i'm gonna look at uh Nayla and look back at her. i think i'm in love Nathan. what I, I thought i thought i thought there were, i thought you were you were in relations with someone else and as far as I'm aware, she moved on. What? Can I help the four of you? Yes, we need to. We need to discuss. Uh, we need to discuss on uh, the next steps. Very well. Uh, maybe away from the uh, prisoners. 
Ah. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's probably not a bad idea. <laughs> Let's discuss somewhere a little bit more civilized, shall we? <laughs> Come. Into the boathouse over there. There's nothing in there right now. Uh, so, where do we stand? How are the, uh, how are the woodmen doing? Well, we haven't taken an informal head count yet, but from what I can see, we've fared pretty well. Minimal losses, and great success. Anyone quotes the movie, I will slap them. Good. Oh, excuse me. Bless you. We're close to full strength, especially with Haldir's elves still in the forest. But I would prefer, well, uh, that's currently our situation. We're setting up, reinforcing the gates and taking stock of in inventory currently and making sure we do have them, the enemy fully out of town. That's the current situation. Well, I believe we should we we shouldn't wait too long before we move on to our next target we don't want to give them a chance to lick their wounds but i don't know what the specifics of that mean i'm no commander i could i could set out today but I know the army probably isn't ready for that. I think we need at least one or two days. And I would like to think anybody from down south wouldn't be able to react or re reposition well enough in that amount of time that we wait. With all things considering, in its current situation, they shouldn't even know that we've done this. That too. It'll be a few days, if that. Tra word does not travel quickly. Not unless, of course, they have some means of communication between two points across great lands. I don't know, magical orb or something, but I don't <laughs> think that exists. <laughs> Um, Nayla ben. just gives a heavy sigh. <laughs> Mathan just kind of stands there. <laughs> then perhaps, perhaps it is best we, like Nayla said, we take a day or two, count our heads, count our wounded, and uh, be prepared to uh, continue marching south. I don't, I don't think we should leave a garrison. Here, when we leave, unless we absolutely need to have people watch over us wounded, but we should move on against time and sail with as much of a force as we can. And right now, the Black Tower, damaged as it is, doesn't offer much in in way of. Uh, Strategy: We'll either win at Tyrant's Hill or we'll lose. And having forces at the Black Tyrant, we'll only make a. It's more likely that we do lose. Unfortunately, I agree with that too. I would like to take as much forces as you said as possible over to the real fight, and then we can come back here and fully rebuild. Worst case, if there are still any stragglers that come about this way, it should be an easy, a clean sweep after, after everything else. Not to mention, waiting a day or two anyway should give us time to see how efficient Haldir and his men have been during this time also. And or, um when they if and when they do come back to give an update or anything we might be able to reposition them and utilize them in different ways at that point too 
Whether it's defending here or coming with us to Tyrant's Hill. I think two days is probably a good idea, unless anybody disagrees. Well, it might be better to uh, give it a day, we reconvene, see if the situation has changed. Sure. Have a better idea of head count than tomorrow, Agreed. I think. Hava, I know you were going to speak. So she... she just listens to the discussion. She doesn't weigh in until there seems to be a break in conversation. Um, she scratches the back of her neck and then just places her hand on her chin. I agree that we should probably move quickly. In a day or two is ideal at a very minimum. Any sooner and we risk exhaustion of those marching. However, I do see your points, but I would urge a garrison to remain here. We lost this place once, and we're going to immediately retake it and abandon it. Morale alone would probably take that hard. Though I am not the one making decisions here, so I will leave that to you. Mm, that's a fair point. How... If we build... A garrison here how how much do you think maintaining it would or would decrease our numbers by depends on the show of force you want to leave behind building a garrison is not the intention but just leaving a defensive force behind in the event of reprisal counterattack or something else unforeseen Unfortunately, and she looks up at Hathis, what he says is true. We will either lose or we will win at Tyrant's Hill. With the Elven King aside, we are currently the strongest force this far south in Mirkwood. We lose at Tyrant's Hill. There's nothing standing between them and all the way up the Dusky River. Which was my point in bringing as many people as we could. And why I was against leaving anyone behind who could make the journey. But it is not my decision. It is the general's. I would like to know what exactly we're facing at Tyrant's Hill as... As impossible of a wish that may be. That was going to be my next point. Like I said, two days is the best situation at minimum. We could take longer. There are risks, and of course, that come with that, but there's risks in all choices. We can send out. No, that would be too risky to send any one of the, the forces out. Ideally, you four, or some amount of you, would go find Haldir and his elves, and press on, and scout, figure out what we're up against. That would take more time, of course. That is actually, I wouldn't mind going to check on Haldir. That's actually a really good idea, Avana. We could, us four, we could link up with Haldir. And move further south and begin scouting the area while you take the two to three days you need to recover and then gather your forces and follow us uh, we could do that at least reconvene with Haldir and see what he has to say but depending on his updates we need we may all need to reconvene again just to actually decide what everyone is doing I don't know if us being further ahead and then trying to give orders from there is going to be efficient. The orders wouldn't change until our main, our main force got closer. Much like when we moved on the Black Tower and we waited for the scouts to report back before we 
came up with any other plan. It would be the same thing, except we would be the scouts. Right, but if something, if something also does happen that's against us that we may not be prepared for, I think with the area here and or some sort of, I guess, garrison built, we'd be better, I would feel like we'd be better defended here versus in the wilderness. But that is backtracking at the same time. If we scouted and then came all the way back here and then left after making a decision, that yeah, would take wouldn't... a considerable amount of time. Yeah. We would probably lose any... <clears throat> The, the, they would have time to reinforce and by the time we get back there our scouting inta uh, our, what we learned from scouting may be off maybe it may have changed you can't you can't be there to give orders to everyone all the time you, it's important Avna's role is important to take care of things when you can't you hear uh, a voice come from, say, roughly behind you guys uh, in the doorway as you hear um, a, s a small thud uh, on the wooden floor. No plan survives contact with the enemy. As you turn around, you see Saruman. Trying to adapt and overcome. Curious, I was not informed of your... Assault. Time was, was against me. Time was against us. We moved fast. Mm. Please do not let me hold your planning up. I'm merely here to observe. Do you have any different recommendations? Yeah, your advice would be really helpful. Oh, you speak. Sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I speak. A lot of times I'm in shock. <laughs> I'm here for one purpose. And that is to deal with the wraith that is in control of all of these threads. I, uh, I still great. think Avna's idea is the one we it, it, it is good. Should Wouldn't we be, mind seeing Halder? Should we be concerned about the Nazgul as we travel closer? Indeed, you should. For if they are present in these lands and a watchful gaze may be upon you. But their attention is not fixed. The Nazgul will either reside in Tyrant's Hill or he will reside in Dol Dolguldur, in the old fortress. <sighs> My guess is he's closer if he's been all the way up here and affecting others already. is possible, but it may not have been the same one. He is merely one of nine. So, you're telling me there could be nine of these Nazgul we're facing? In the current state of the world? Doubtful. All nine have probably been dispatched to the far corners of Middle-earth. It's hard to say. This is the only one that it's currently popped up to my, to my attention. Do what would you will. Attack Tyrant's Hill how you see fit. Deal with the enemy within. The Nazgul should be left to me. That's agreeable. 
and wise. Yeah, so yeah, you can have them. It's all yours. But we still need a decision about how we move on Tywin's Hill, General. I think Haldir is a good idea. I wanted to start traveling south anyway, at least either as myself or just the few of us to... Not by yourself. We well, talked about this. Right. Tail, to at least Wait. tail the lead that I found on on Bidar. Well, we can have a perk of fun of the dwarf and go and tell an Aldir what's going on. When when? Yeah, so further in the same direction I saw I saw tracks. I saw his footprints, I How do you know they were his? Fighter's feet are really fucking huge. <laughs> so are a lot of dwarves. When you have a footprint a set of footprints that are clearly dwarven versus men, especially woodmen, it stands out pretty big. Plus Vidar is just well. He's a thick he's boy, yeah, we know. <laughs> he's he's hard to miss. No, he's he's not he's he's whatever. My point being is that I found tracks that indicate him having fought somebody and Now that sounds like Vider. Well so far I would like to think that checks out based on how based on what Thea and um Volley have spoken when we reconvened with them. But it looks like somewhere in the battle, my guess is, based on what I saw, my guess is that he fell. And. Fell as in. I don't know yet. <laughs> but there are marks of a body being dragged all the way into the forest, and I followed it all the way up to the narrows. So we have a chance to find our friend and we're sitting here talking. We have our plan, we know where to go, let's go. But what if he's like your other friend? We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Well, if that's the case, he's going down too. Alright, yeah, sounds like we have a plan. We'll... If the few of us still need a bit of time to to rest and whatnot, we can leave a little later. Otherwise, we can go. We'll we'll stick to the plan of heading that direction and having two two missions in mind: finding Haldir and reconvening with him, and using that as updates and further orders, messages, whatever everyone's been saying, and um, and seeing if we can find out more about. About the dwarf. So then, are we coming back here after linking up with Haldir? No, if it takes too much time, there's no point. Or, I mean, anything can happen, but... I would rather try to keep the element of surprise that we do have as much as possible, because that may very well be the only thing we have right now. Against Tyrant's Hill. But oh. um, Avani and I can also figure out the numbers of leaving some here for a sort of garrison um, where it's enough to keep this place on hold and held down, but not enough to weaken our strength as we move forward. So establish that with Avana and what time <laughs> we should we should all meet closer to Tyrant's Hill. I am ready to part meet Haldir at a moment's notice. Okay. I'm all set to go as well. I want my mead first, but I'm ready to go. Go have your damn mead. I'll take an hour. Maybe nope, more. nope. Nope, y'all ruined it. Let's go. <sighs> Alright. 
fucking Bjorn and grab me by the ankle. <laughs> <laughs> so, before the bodies could even be cold, the fellowship has convened and come up with a plan for the next. And immediately after the battle, they leave the Black Tarn and are heading south in search of Haldir leaving Avana in command, and she distributes news of where their general is going, what is going on. <laughs> Again. They are not being abandoned. <laughs> they are not pulling the Broken Fellowship, the Grey Comfort, no, the Broken Fellowship uh, before the Rohirrim leave for Gondor. <laughs> Why does he flee on an eve of battle? <laughs> he leaves because he has to. So, uh, you guys head south, uh, in heading for the Narrows of the Forest. Leaving the force behind, along with Saruman. And that's where we're going to take a break. Alrighty. So we will I really was hoping to find Vidar. Oh. He sounds like he's the next mini boss. Uh, I was really hoping to find it. <laughs> Hail adventurer, are you a dungeon master with the desire to transport your players to fantastical settings? Perhaps they are deep in the dungeon of a mad lich. <laughs> Fools, you have intervened for the last time. Let's see you survive my fireball. Oh! 
Or perhaps the party has just come across bandits and the Goliath monk releases a flurry of <laughs> blows and a stunning <laughs> strike to gain control of the conflict. Ugh. Nice rolls on the attack. Or maybe the party is taking a breather after another difficult quest. If this sounds like something you want at your next TTRPG session, then head over to BattleBards.com. By subscribing to BattleBards Prime, you get the ability to immerse your players in your campaign. You'll get complete streaming access to the libraries of both BattleBards and Plate Mail games. And whether your game is in person or virtual, you won't be limited as you will have access to a caster and a mixer to be able to broadcast the tracks to all of your players. And of course, if you want to download and keep any tracks, then you get 20% off all in-store purchases. So what are you waiting for, adventurer? A quest posting at the local guild hall? Get over to BattleBards.com and subscribe today, and use the coupon code ADVENTURE at checkout. Stay proficient, adventurers.
Hail, adventurer. Are you a dungeon master with the desire to transport your players to fantastical settings? Perhaps they are deep in the dungeon of a mad lich. <laughs> Fools, you have intervened for the last time. Let's see you survive my fireball. Or perhaps the party has just come across bandits and the Goliath monk releases a flurry of <laughs> blows and a stunning <laughs> strike to gain control of the conflict. Ugh. Nice rolls on the attack. Or maybe the party is taking a breather after another difficult quest. If this sounds like something you want at your next TTRPG session, then head over to BattleBards.com. By subscribing to BattleBards Prime, you get the ability to immerse your players in your campaign. You'll get complete streaming access to the libraries of both BattleBards and Plate Mail games. And whether your game is in person or virtual, you won't be limited as you will have access to a caster and a mixer to be able to broadcast the tracks to all of your players. And of course, if you want to download and keep any tracks, then you get 20% off all in-store purchases. So what are you waiting for, adventurer? A quest posting at the local guild hall? Get over to BattleBards.com and subscribe today, and use the coupon code ADVENTURE at checkout. Stay proficient, adventurers. And we're back. Not saying a fucking thing about schedules. Ad break took care of that. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather that be the liar than me. So, <laughs> just, you know, 
keep an ear out for things, I guess. Um... Anyway, so, we just left off, the Fellowship had convened with Avanon, the second in command of the Woodman forces, after reclaiming uh, the Black Tarn. A mere hours after that, came up with the next steps of what they're going to do. In the south, Haldir and a handful of his archers uh, were sent to just sort of be like a rear guard, keep tabs on if anybody was coming, alert them, or just harass the enemy if they got close enough. Uh, so he is currently out there, and no one has had contact with him for a few days. So, Fellowship sees it best to go meet up with him and press on as a scouting party. And a few days after they that happens, Avna will set out with the forces follow and begin the assault of Tyrant's Hill. So that was the plan. Oh, and Saruman said leave the Nazgul to him. <laughs> Small <was> detail. <laughs> ah, it's fine. We're fine. No big. Fine. No big. <laughs> and in his defense, he said leave the Nazgul. If there's more than one, <laughs> it's all him. <laughs> Don't interfere. Um... Well, you guys are gathering your gear. Is there anything you guys wish to do before heading out? Oh! I had an idea. An and idea. I think, I think at least, I don't know if all of you would be interested or if at least Mathan and or Hathas would be interested. Um, but does anybody feel like uh, threatening a goblin with me? Yes. Right. I'll leave that to Mathan. <laughs> Shadow points are right, Because Vida did a whole lot of interrogation. All right, so uh, after the meeting and after Nayla speaks with Avana for a bit, um, Nayla will find you, Mathan, um, looking a little like, oh, I don't know what the word is, um, like a cold determination on her face. Um, and she's going to be like, hey, so... Mm -hmm. Based on what I found with Fidar's Drex, I bet one of the prisoners or some of the prisoners that we have might know more about what happened with him. You want to find out with me? I'm going to get like a Grinch looking smile going across my face. All right, yes, cool. I do. Grab your mead. <laughs> I'm going to grab like a whole bunch of tankers and be like, don't get to tell me twice. <laughs> All right, Nathan and I are going to go to where the go uh, prisoners are being held then. All right, it's... uh right on the docks. So um, if you guys are walking straight out from meeting with Avina, uh, it's just a few feet to the right. Um, you can hear the, or the stillness of the water uh, from the Black Tarn. Uh, a couple of the reeds and weeds move as little bit of waves lap underneath the, uh, the dock. Uh, but you see several iron cages um, that Nayla, when you inspected earlier, had uh, skeleton and rotting corpses in them. Now right. have been cleaned out, and there yeah. are live uh, goblins, one sort of like clutching the side, and he has his feet up against the side. He's almost like leaning at like a completely horizontal, and he's just shouting in, in goblin. A couple are just sitting down, and the other ones are just grabbing on and just like making noise as you get closer. Is the one that sideways, is he the noisiest? Right, you said the first one on the yeah, roll. Oh. <laughs> Three. He is. Ooh. Cool. All right, I'm gonna look at Mayth and go. All right, how about the noisiest one first? That one right there. I'm gonna move my mic away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look and go. Okay. All right, cool. And I'm gonna. Oh, I used to? Oh, I do have a dagger. Okay, perfect. I was like, why is Wolfbiter the only thing I have? And it's not. Okay. Oh, no, wait. Um... Oh, no, I don't have it. Got a dagger? Uh, let me check my head. I must feel like using something different. I think I just have my short sword. 
Yep, I have my short sword, so I can make that work. Nathan, do you have a dagger? Pulls out ten fucking blades. Not one of them's a dagger. Nope. You really? <laughs> kind of go like, nope. No. Nope. We, we really need a nope. scene where it's like, leave your weapons at the door. And Nathan's just like, exactly. pink, honk, pink, pink, this pink, 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 <laughs> Proceeds for another ten minutes. Oh, God. <laughs> I love those scenes too. They're so yeah. funny. And then, I, and, then, and then I just stand there, and the guy goes, turns away. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all right. Go inside. <laughs> There's a lot of room in there. All right. Um, <laughs> what can I say? All right. Well, pick your weapon of choice, but um. Nao's gonna point at the one that's being the noisiest. She's going to um, take out Wolf Fighter and do a quick spin of it, of the a quick spin of it in her hand and hold it up. And she's gonna look at all of the goblins, um, and she's gonna be like, "All right, there is one thing I want to know, and you can either make this really easy, you can either make this easy and you will live, or." My friend and I are gonna get crazy and kill you all. <laughs> you first. I'm gonna pull out Arabane and and just go, just kind of like just rubbing it like against the cage, like a prisoner doing a mug, like just kind of <laughs> do that, just kind of do that with Arabane and go like, go ahead, keep screaming. It'll be the last noise you make. So, um, oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, what is it now? Uh, so as he does that, uh, the one that was being the noisiest and clinging on to it, I want to swiftly grab through at his wrist and pull his arm forward so his face comes uh, toward me but just smashes against uh, the iron bars while I have his arm jerked forward told me and I'm gripping it hard. Okay. You just... Clink, clink, clink. Clink, clink, clink. And you grab the wrist, you bring him forward, and just barely the dagger misses as he gets yanked forward. I, I, yeah, and I want to keep him there too, like face against the the iron bars. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like almost pulling his arm and dislocating the shoulder. Does he have right. facial hair or anything? He's got like a little soul patch right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Arabane. I'm, I'm gonna take Arabane and then just slowly just start like going across his cheeks, almost like a shaving like motion. Uh, one of you. Actually, both of you. No. Your choice. Both of you give me an intimidation check, or one of you at advantage. How's your intimidation? I'm three out of proficiency. Okay, I'm a one. Uh, take the advantage. Cool. Um... <laughs> this is what I did, everyone! <laughs> Let's go. This music's way too calm for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just got really excited. Hang on. Let me just... I think this will get something. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. Oh man, thank god I am Nayla for this right now. <laughs> if it was either of my other characters, it would not be happening. <laughs> Alright, I use this one in Strahd. So. Alright, natural 20 for a total of 23. About to get dark in here, kids. I need a drink. <laughs> When you guys yes. took this place, there was a dwarf among the humans here. I want to know where he is. And if you don't know, you better tell me who does. But you probably should... You should probably know. 
Nah, don't tell her. It's been a long time since I shaved a goblin, as I'm just rubbing my sword up and down his cheek. I miss it. It's been a while since I took a while off the side. Okay, that's weird. Um... Uh, uh. <laughs> I was here at the time of the assaults. No shit. What? Sometimes we're out tight. Talk. Push a little in his arm or his wrist. You hear us feel a small pop. <laughs> I remember the dwarf. Remember the man from the south stuck him like a pig. <laughs> That's funny to you. But he was taken. Maybe I didn't. And when I see. If you were able to see the fight, you saw what they did with him after. Immediately after is when the assault began. What they did with him after that, I didn't say I don't know. Oh, please stop hurting my wrist. You're right. Move on to his fingers. Huh? No, you have five more seconds to tell me anything more before I chop the whole arm off. Now, why do you get to have all the fun? Why am I even here? Give me another intimidation check. Is it still with advantage or no? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ow, I oh. clenched too hard into my hand. I have nail and dents in my, in my palms. <laughs> <laughs> Owies. Oh, no. Oh, I know. I saw the fight happen, saw it conclude, and then we attacked this place. Whatever happened after that, I didn't see. Hmm. Does that seem to be like all he knows? Is he telling the truth? Give me an insight check. I almost didn't even could think it, about asking it, that. I was <laughs> like, could it be an advantage? Because I'm curious as well. You can both give insight. Oh, okay. okay. Ooh! A little hard to assist on inciting. Yeah, that's what I'm sure. In this, in this particular situation. Okay. So you would have. Um. Yeah, he he seems terrified, um, and that he really has nothing to hide in this particular situation. He's already in a cage. He's got a knife to his throat, and his wrist is about to snap. Um. But he seems to be telling the truth. Um, he did see the fight. He saw what happened. Claims that the dwarf was s stabbed to some extent. Ignore that horse. I don't know why there's a horse coming down the docks. Um, Armand! <laughs> I forgot about that entire... That's a callback. <laughs> Holy boy. <laughs> oh. That's some pre-stream shit right there. All right. Um. After, after staring at him long and hard with like the coldest, darkest look, um, Nail is just gonna let go. He like grabs his wrist and immediately goes back to the edge of the cage, which is like half a foot, honestly, and just sort of hunkers there, stay looking up at you. I'm gonna stand right stay right there and i'm going to slowly eye at the others to try to gauge if the others are just as terrified and willing to cooperate or if there might be one or others that um might seem otherwise or like might seem like they're they have more info if that makes sense i don't know what kind i feel like there's an expression for that but i don't know <laughs> nathan's gonna take his sword kind of put it on his shoulder look back and like as um Nayla looks back i just look at the rest of them and go who else feels talkative uh give me perception check me? Or investigation uh, both of you in this case oh i was going for insight but that works too I like perception. 
I don't. I'm good at that one. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I picked um, it. Yeah. <laughs> they are quiet. They're they're not really speaking up. They're sort of like eyeing you. Um, but Naila, you do see sort of to one side, like in the middle, um, of the one cage uh, is a shorter, more like hunched over uh, goblin in like brownish rags almost he doesn't really have any armor the other ones have some sort of like shin armor or even some have breastplate uh this one's just rags in like a uh almost looks like a cut up sack for like a hood and he's just sort of like averting his gaze i'm going to take a few steps to stand right in front of him then i'm just and gonna then... continue looking around then until she grabs my attention or i start hearing her talk and then I'm going to crouch to essentially try to meet this one at eye level. Well, theoretically, since he's yeah. looking away from me right now. Yeah, like the hood, like if he's like looking away from you, the hood's like right here. So you see like a brownish green nose like come out a bit. Mm hmm. Um, but that's about it for the profile. You tell me what you know. And there's... And you'll get more food if and when they decide to feed you. And if Otherwise, you don't talk... And if, and if you don't talk, I'm gonna look at the water and look back at him. You're gonna be... Your thirst will be quenched. One of you lean towards persuasion, the other one lean towards intimidation. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> Good Naila cop, bad cop. Just one a little bit nice. Yeah. So Nayla, persuasion check, make an intimidation check. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god! Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. <laughs> seven. Alright, high five. I'm in one, a minus one. One more two. seven and you win the slot machine. <laughs> I kinda wanna roll one more time just to see. I know if I can. me too. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm making I'm making havoc. Oh, I should have saved that. I'm curious. I know. Yeah, I know. Damn. <laughs> All right, we lost the lottery. Thanks for playing, guys. Thanks for playing. Have a good stream. I'm out. You think any of him around here are gonna feed us? <laughs> By my word. Why would you keep any of us alive? Right now, you're still of use. And if you want to remain being useful, you will talk. What is it you want to know? Where did they take the dwarf? Where do you think? Oh, that's why we're asking you. Why? And the two of you look pretty bright if you put your hands together. Surely you came to a conclusion already. You know what, Nayla? He's right. We should, we should put heads together. In fact, am I able to reach him? Uh, he... He's sort of in the back of the cage, which is right on the line of the of the docks. Um, you could probably get close. But am I able to at least go around some point and grab him? Yeah, you could probably maneuver it decently and get to him. Okay, I'm going to maneuver it and go behind, grab him by the rags or the cloak, and bring him in, kind of like slam his head against the door or the or the cage. How's that for putting your fucking head together? And I'm and I'm 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 gonna hold him up like against that bar. Why? Another intimidation check. Okay. Come on, another twenty. Oh! <laughs> Fuck! You started so well. <sighs> Yeah, it brings back memories. Reminds me of my mum. 
<laughs> Your mom sounds like a nice lady. Did she do also this? I'm gonna pull him in. I'm gonna like push him back and bring him back in. I won't stop until you call me daddy. <laughs> Are you still holding his arm out through the bar, or...? I'm not holding his arm. I'm holding him, like, by the cloak and oh, bringing okay. him in, like, to the kid. So his head meets it, not so much his arm. Gotcha. Okay. I might as well do it. You think I'm going to be welcome back to open arms if I ever get out of here? <laughs> Ooh, if is a mighty word. Unless you have something to offer. <laughs> I have no reason to tell you anything. Hmm, that's quite the shame. I would, um, like to do the same maneuver of grabbing the arm and pulling it through like I did with the other goblin in one swift movement, if I can, since I'm crouching right in front of him. Um, and then as I pull it out with Wolf Fighter in my other hand, I just go down on it. You just cut the arm off? Yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna look at her. Now, was that really necessary? You get to have all the fun with the arms, and I'm just standing here. This is some bullshit. You can grab arms, too. I tried. You're doing all the cutting and chopping without me. All right, give me one more intimidation check at advantage. Your turn. Fuck me. <laughs> no! It was almost two natural 20s. Yeah. 23 again. Grabs his arm while still being pulled up. Fine. Be right back. I might know something. Good. Tell me before I cut off the other. I ain't come in here with the rest of this rabble in the assault. A messenger. A dart between place to place, delivering orders and other things. They brought this dwarf after the fight. Back to the Sorcerer's Hill. No. Not the Sorcerer's Hill. There's another hill. The Tyrant's... Tyrant's Hill. Uh-huh. Uh. And why? I don't know. I'm not privy to such information. <laughs> He's alive. <laughs> What's your definition of alive? As he opens his mouth and you see just sharp, jagged teeth, very toothy grin. Nathan, you can stick your sword right through his mouth. I'm done. And I get up and <laughs> turn away. Would you count walking around as a... <laughs> 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 and, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna pull it out and go like, finally, I get to fucking do something, clean off my blade, sheath it. Yep. Slumps to the ground. Slides slowly off the blade. Uh, you know, I'm just... Here. Just for added flair, and as he kind of like slumps, I'm gonna take my sword and kind of like rip it out to one side of his mouth, so it kind of the jaw kind of dangles. You sort of flick the wrist because the the bars of the cage, but you just flick it and just right there, almost giving him like a little Joker smile on one side. While he's doing that, Nayla is standing in a few steps away, but her back is toward all him in the cages now, and she's just. She's just there, silent. I'm gonna walk towards her. Well... I... have... no doubt... he is in the same condition that you guys found Salfos in. 
Maybe so. And that was... Then what? I don't know, Nathan. I'm... What are you prepared to do? Yes, he's my friend, too. He's my companion. Our companion. Our friend. Would it be better letting him run around in a condition he's in? No. There have been times where we fought darkness. And there was always some form of light. But in this case... I don't know. Yeah, I don't... You know, this is... Only another instance where I've come across someone I've known getting affected by shadow like this, and I'm starting to believe one way or another we all are going to be the same way, regardless of what we do. Maybe. I'm well on my way. Don't. And Don't what? Lie to you? No, don't be on your way. No one else be on their fucking way! And what are you going to do if I do end up? I have come close. Twice. What would you do? Would you rather see me rampage and keep doing what I'm doing? Not answering you. Let me just show you the reality. You don't think I don't know the reality? The first person I had to kill that this happened to was the one I was supposed to marry! That's how I got exiled in the first place! Sorry, I'm not mean to laugh. I'm just like, I just, when I did that, I looked down at Brian. I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's one out of the many. I've seen many be consumed. My own father, even. My whole fucking tribe. Yeah. And I've had to put them down. All of them. And it was a mercy, because I've seen the look in their eyes. The same look that was there when they were killed. Why would I let my brothers, my family, suffer that darkness? I don't want Vidar to suffer. No matter what we try, it's like there's literally no other way. That this is it sometimes. It's kill, and then later on, you live long enough to be the one killed in the end. Because somehow you become the enemy. I'm so tired of this. Somehow you may become the enemy, but during that time, you're also a lot of light. There damn better be. Well, maybe there's a cure that we don't know. Maybe there's a way to bring him back. Maybe there isn't. But it's that hope that drives us to keep going forward. To keep trying. To keep being that hero. And if you succumb to the darkness, what was your story beforehand? Fighting it and going out like a warrior? Or... Just simply falling to it, not giving any fight at all, and nothing was there. I don't know about you, but I'd rather fight and fall than live without hope. Let's go. We're wasting time here. You're right. We got the information we need. So, Arachrin, do you have a favorite flower? Oh, uh, slide. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe a lily, a red lily. Oh, th those are nice. I, yeah, I, they are nice. I like, I like sunflowers myself. They grow big and tall, and they, <laughs> uh, they're, they're bright, and they, 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 they really fill me with happiness. I wonder how uh, Nayla and Nathan are doing right now. 
And that wonder too. Can we get a little just, snack man. for everybody before you just, we leave? I think they just for somebody on the it. side. Ooh. Yes, snack sounds great. I could go for a good bite to eat. Yeah, let's get everybody a snack. I think everybody would like that. A water pretzel too. <laughs> <laughs> Antlin Mathan. Ah, let me guess. Corruption saving throws. Yep. <laughs> Worth it. I knew that from the get go. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I think I have something that gives me advantage on this. Oh, wait. Maybe. It's there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it as it pertains to my shadow weakness. I don't yeah. know if that was the case. Not in this particular case. It's worth a try. I just remember that. Ah. Oh, a blighted ah. land. Okay. I mean, it was goblins, so I mean, the bar is not oh, exactly that sorry. high. Sorry, uh, that was still on advantage. It should be that seven. Okay. Yeah. No, At the, least the, the the corruption saves weren't necessarily from the actions you took against a shadow creature. It was more or less the conversation that followed. Yeah. Mm. I knew that from the get go. <laughs> Guys, been naughty. Hey, I thought I was okay. No, more, more, <laughs> more or less without hope and talking about killing somebody, potentially. <laughs> so I said okay ish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nayla, over the course of events throughout your life, and going from your husband to be. The exile, the friends, the friends you met along the way, that fucking phrase, um, <laughs> till now, of potentially hearing losing somebody else, it all just sort of rushes back into you, and you feel yourself edge slightly closer to forlorn, hopelessness, despair. I you can take two shadow points. <laughs> okay. Nathan, coincidentally enough, um, while you have endured some shit, you've seen some shit. <laughs> um, you've dealt killed your some own, shit. <laughs> killed your own father, for fuck's sake. Um, and it's fine. Witnessed some of the best of your people succumb to the shadow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you still resist and in this conversation you took an opposing stance of while there is a lot of darkness out there either you or us or a handful of people can still be that faint beacon for people to follow and hold out hope you take no shadow points Ooh. Yeah. thank god <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> All right. We'll head back to the others and get ready to go, I guess. Hey, oh. guys, we got snacks. <laughs> you guys say that as Nail is like really, really distraught <laughs> and looking down. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes, I am. All right. Any final things for everybody to do before we go? Uh, I think we're all set. All right. Nope. Yeah. I can. I can get us as far as I follow the tracks up to the narrows, and unfortunately, the narrows are a little less traveled by by me, so that's where um, things will potentially get a little more hairy, but maybe if we're lucky we'll run into Haldir earlier than that, but I can at least get us up to the edge of the Western Eaves and pass that, we'll see what happens. Sound good? Yes, let's be on our way. Great. And she'll swiftly turn around and start walking forward with Haru flying above her. Like a few feet above. Yep. You set out, <clears throat> heading south. Um, you have a rough 
idea of where Haldir was sent to. Mm -hmm. That being said, it's a there's 20 of them, and it's a large area for them to cover. I'm so sure they'll find us. <laughs> oh! He has a habit of that. <laughs> oh, before any of that, uh -huh. are there rations available? <laughs> um, you no. can probably swipe some from what's left of the, mm -hmm. the army currently. How many rations do I have? That's How many can I take? How many? Five? Five? I don't know. Five I sounds good. Mission. They tell you to take what you need. They're edging on the hope that in the two days uh, before they set out, or three days, that they will be able to hunt and scrounge up some more. I'm gonna take five! Um, yeah, I'll take five. I'll take to get, up to, to, to get rid of my negative four. I'll take three. <laughs> I'll take five. Okay. Okay, now onward. Just bring it up to a nice round number for me, because I wasn't out. There was no. All right, real quick. Nayla, are you guide? Uh, yep, I assume so. That's why I roleplayed it the way I did. Good. Oh, I should have picked up more. I don't know. I should be fine on arrows. I could always give you some of mine. Okay. Nathan, you hunter. Yeah. I'm going off of what it's been in the past. Uh, He's making a lot of assumptions here. Office. Is it scout or lookout? I think he was um, lookout at look scout. Because I wanted the better survival. <laughs> that way. Okay. Ow. If I'm Scout, y'all are screwed. Okay. Everybody got what they need. I hope. All right. Nayla, go ahead and give me a survival check. Oh, you not an embarkation list. rule. Not in this particular case, because that all sort of started out back in Woodman Town. Oh, right. Okay. So you've already embarked. I just, or we're pressing on from sort of like a midpoint. Fair enough. 18. You are in wilderness. You get advantage. I'm not tracking anything, though. Or am I? It's up to you. Um. You could be tracking the elves. I can't track two things at once. That's probably. You can uh. Oh, dear. Yeah. Um. I will. I'll go ahead and track Haldir, and then, um, uh, who is Scout? I am. Would you mind trying to track along the way, um, the footprints and dragging marks to follow as I, if I point them out to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll Since it's all kind of the same direction? Okay. Sure. Is, can that, can that be a thing? Lore master. <laughs> I don't know if the scout is the best role for that. Are they survival? I don't know. I think they are. Mm. I've only ever been guide as Nayla. <laughs> He's in a different book. Always in a different book. <laughs> I've, I've had several books out on my desk, the table, and DM me. Oh god, all the books. I can't do that. When I, the one time I DM'd for, for something, I was like, no, it's barely got to be one book open. And even then, it's like, I want, I, I, I'm i such like a minimalist when it comes to use of space. I want 
my desk space almost completely clear regardless of what I'm doing. So I'm like, otherwise I get really like feeling of like cluttered and stuff or claustrophobic. So the one time I was DMing or the first time I had the book open and I was like, I hate this. <laughs> so I threw everything onto OneNote just to make sure that it was all up there. And if I did still need to reach for something, I pulled up the book from like completely elsewhere out of reach so that it wasn't in front of me because <laughs> I couldn't take it otherwise. Which I realize oh. is counterproductive, but eh. <laughs> Scout, in charge of setting up camp, opening new trails. Scouts rely on stealth and investigation. Oh, man, I could get stealth. Not a good investigation. They're not really ones for tracking. Okay. Sounds um, really their role. Uh, if I had to guess, Hunter would be tracking. Hunter, specifically for finding food, but they use survival checks. Lookouts, you could argue, because they keep watch and rely on perception. Guide. But I'm already tracking Hall Deer. I don't think I can track both Hall Deer and watch for the dragging marks at the same time. Unless I am allowed, but I'm assuming no. <laughs> I would say you could try, but it would make things difficult. Right. Um uh, I would probably ask Nathan to do it then and point them out. Unless Hoffus really wants to offer. Uh I mean, Hothus isn't going to offer. That's not his expertise. All right, then I'll make Nathan do it. <laughs> I just had to double check what, like, my survival investigation was. <laughs> okay. So, since Kevin ducked out, narratively speaking, as we start, okay. I'll point to the tracks and I'll be like, follow them. Okay. All right. So, you are tracking Haldir, so you do have advantage on your survival check. Oh! That's what triggered this whole thing. Oh, right. Okay. Um, so let me... I'll just roll it again just to see if it gets higher. And it does. 20. Okay. Fun. 20. Okay. So you head off. And initially you have no real trail to follow. Seemingly the Galadrim are pretty good at covering their tracks or moving lightly through the yeah. forest of all things. Yeah. I'd be um, really surprised so if I can actually find them. <laughs> you do you do find it best to head south at least until you get to the Narrows and then try to pick up a trail from there. And it's current okay. state. Uh, you also send, send Haru up to hopefully catch a glimpse of something and report back. But he'll just be Circling above for a while. Okay. You guys march um, for a few hours and then stop and rest as you've been going pretty hard the night before. Um, being able to stay up till dawn and right. attack. So, or you could press on and take exhaustion. No, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to take. Probably rest. I don't want to take exhaustion. <laughs> yeah, I, I spent the last five. The word poisoned. exhaustion for Hothus is a trigger word. <laughs> <laughs> Remembering the spider parliament. <laughs> um, are we still in the Western Eaves? For now. For now. Um, would the next day of travel take us out of it? into the narrows Probably not even a, not even a full day okay um well then i think let me double check the western eaves i know too many i do know the western eaves so then um i could then use the um that known land part of knowing a place to safely long rest for this region um, to give us to give us a safe place to long rest if we want um uh, that should I'd, work yeah I'd be more than happy for a long rest I don't Just strictly need it but 
I won't say no to it. What time of day? Well, we're tired, right? Because we stayed up, that's what you said, so this is about time for us wanting a long rest, essentially? Or just a rest in general. I'm, oh. I'm, not, I'm not forcing you guys to take a long rest because you're 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 journeying now so there's with the with your ability as the exception you can't really long rest out here right 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 so it's just it's just getting the point in the day because you've been going for probably 12 plus hours at this point that your okay. bodies are going hey right. we need to stop for a while okay so we can either take a safe long rest now to get ourselves up you know, back to full or whatever before we hit potentially the narrows and then start risking, you know, other rests because they're probably not going to be long after that. Um, or we can just like take a short rest dead as narrative speaking or whatever and move forward. I mean, if we can get a long rest in, I mean, this is probably the last time we'll be able to get one. I don't see why we don't take it. I agree. I don't know if you heard all of that, Kev, <laughs> since you just uh, came back. <laughs> something about long rest and whatnot. Um, I was asking if we wanted to do a long rest right here, because it's getting to the point where our characters are about to get um, exhausted since we stayed up all night because of the fight. Um, and this would be like the only opportunity we have to do a safe yeah. long rest or long rest in general, potentially, this before is, moving yeah. forward. The, okay. the last yeah. time we'll be able to take a long rest. Let's do it. All right. All right. <clears throat> Nayla, do you want to describe this location that you found and had it safe for a while? Oh, God. Um... Yeah, so I I imagine something what first came to mind was something along the lines of like um I don't know exactly how to describe it, but when you're like hiking or in the woods and sometimes there's like like I don't want to say cliff faces, but those just really large like um, like rocks or boulders that are kind of there and then like they can be in a gathering and create divots and like almost minor-ish caves to an extent or something if any of that makes sense but anyway I imagine something I imagine like coming across in the middle of the woods this this large like rock pile or gathering of like I don't know boulders or something and then um, and it's got like leafy like vine and greenery just hanging and moss like hanging all around them um, but then Nayla can approach and one wall, one naturally looking wall of vine, she'll like push back or pull aside. And then looking in, the rock itself is like, is like thinner at the top, but then it, there's like space underneath it. So like an overhang and it just goes in deep enough where um, we all can snugly fit. Hophis might be a little you know, crouched and stuff underneath it, but, um, <laughs> at the time, down. It's okay. yeah, at the time it would have been perfect for her and Haru, but, um, once she, she, this would have been something where she, like, discovered this big rock thing, and it was enough of an overhang to, like, hide and curl underneath, and then just, like, crafted with foliage and whatnot, um, vining and like a, like a curtain almost of greenery to match with everything else so that she could just like go back and underneath and be safe. If any of that makes sense. <laughs> I was like, I'm thinking big rock and I'm like, how do I describe this? <laughs> so now leads you guys to a safe spot that is well camouflaged naturally. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was um, way better in shorter words. <laughs> and leads you well, it's because I don't I don't want to put the details, you put the details in. I just glimpsed. Fair it. enough. So you, she leads you guys uh inside. It's a bit cool. Doesn't really get much sunlight. Um but it's dry. And for the moment it appears safe. You can all take a long rest. <gasps> Yay! Can I get a hell yeah? I mean... <laughs> Thank you. I get I get some hit dice back and I get my challenge back. Fighters, 
fighters are really good just surviving on short rests. Uh, I know. Warriors are. I know. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. All oh, right. Slay, if that if I was awesome. still playing Vida, long rest would be very important. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Nathan, you should get one charge back of uh, Theraneal. Yep. So I'm back to full. Woo! Back to full with a bad attitude. Let's do this shit. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so you guys rest for full eight hours. Full oh, week. Out. At night. Yeah, with our sleeping we schedules be, now out of whack. <laughs> officially fucked your sleeping schedule. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just yeah, rotate. Yeah. My circadian rhythm has gone off. God damn it. <laughs> you guys rotate watch. Um, just out of a sense of paranoia, but everyone gets their, their long rest. And as opposed to hearing birds or uh, other day going creatures, you head back out to the sound of crickets in a eerie cool silence of the forest. And press on, heading south in the night. Papas, give me a perception check. Ooh, wait, I can do Just that. Guys, march up. Go, 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 go. So what kind of wilderness are we in? That's a tw <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is about this campaign. I can no longer roll well. <laughs> it's all because you switched characters. <laughs> but he sure can fight. <laughs> to be fair, that was me with volley. Yeah. You guys press on for a few hours probably with the goal of getting to a point and try to catch back up and continue in the daylight. You travel for weaving in and out for through most of the night. Not a whole lot to see or hear. Nothing that catches your attention. Um, Nathan, while you were out, uh, Nayla assigned you the duty of keeping tabs on a particular set of tracks. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, the the mm -hmm. dragging the dragging marks uh, that I saw that indicated Vidar was taken. I pointed them out to okay. Nathan as we left, and I told you to keep an eye out. Don't fail, or she'll it. take your arm next. I will. <laughs> you, you, Jesus are... Christ! <laughs> you are tracking something, but go ahead and give me a survival check. Me or Nayla? Yeah, you. Okay. You. You're the you're the hunter, so she is she assigned you. To yes. track these tracks. 16. 16. Okay. You 18 here them. first. You have not lost them. She had pointed them out. Um, the deeper you go into the forest, the less visible they are becoming. Um, mm. You get the feeling that eventually they're probably either going to disappear or they're just going to be wiped away by either erosion or other foot traffic. But you currently still have them. They're still trailing off this way, but seems like it's fading out a little bit. Oh. So we may want to keep the pace. All right. Just wanted to see if anything different happened along the way based on, based on the story we were given by the goblins. Or if the goblin was still even speaking the truth. Moving forward. A few hours after midnight, you continue to creep along. You hear the rustling of bushes every now and again, and small critters moving beneath the, the, the roots of the trees. Beyond that, you hear yourselves breathing uh, shallowly, just trying to keep your bearings and keep an eye out for anything else. Hoppus, give me another perception check. E oh, 
Wow, better by one point. <laughs> That's improvement. Is indeed better. Um. Sorry. There. Arachrin does a 23 hit. Oh no! I'm so sorry! Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I have failed you. I'm, yes, you have. I have a plus 60 perception. I just can't roll above a 10. Owie. Owie. As you are walking in sort of like a not like a diamond formation, but you're fanned out to an extent and just following Nayla's lead, who is out in front. And then, as you continue, uh, Arachron, you feel a pinch in the back right uh, of your side. And what starts out as a pinch quickly becomes excruciating pain, and then it is numbed away all uh -oh. in, like, a span of two seconds. And you hear a voice and like this overarching shadow come from behind you, and you all hear this part. Thought you were going to escape. <gasps> Wait. As you all turn around and you see Talkin the Weaver. Oh no! Fangs with her fangs bearing down behind uh, Arachrin's uh, face just off to the left side of his shoulder as they clack together and you see the stinger pull out from his back and he juts forward a bit. Uh, we are not finished. And that is where we're going to end tonight. Oh no! What? Freaking doing me dirty no! again. No! Wait! Tala was supposed to win that. Oh, what? What? I... Ah! Oh my god. Tala lost. <laughs> Guys, you ready for me to sit out this fight oh again? Oh my god, I was so afraid he was gonna lose too! I'm just gonna lose, just gonna lose all my characters. Well, well, perfect. I'm glad we long rested. <laughs> we are, we are so oh no. fucked. Nah, nah, we got this. We got, we got, we got Nathan and I, the heavy hitters. We're just, we're just. Slice yeah, but on that, on that note, go check out our OnlyFans. We're about to get fucked so hard on this. <laughs> no, but the last time, like, Hothis was chabbed for the so long, he couldn't do anything against Tarkin. Yeah. This time, gonna let loose. Gonna be, gonna be <laughs> game over. Then you get charmed again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is also Jeez. the fight that gave me oh my gosh, this this is the poison that gave me four levels it was of exhaustion. A, it was a bad fight cause yeah, everyone had some sort of big disadvantage in that oh, last she, fight. This is gonna be She just stabbed Arachrin and we will pick up next week with this fight and we'll find out what poison she pumps into him. Oh, yeah. Not even, not even like points of damage? Damage points? Okay, fine. I, uh, no, uh, 15 piercing. It might oh. be, it might be the full levels of exhaustion. Oh no. If it's that, oh fuck. <laughs> we just roll randomly rest. for it. Oh, uh, well, nice knowing everybody. Oh God. So we'll pick up next week. Uh, we'll find out where this goes. Taller lost. Oh my Who god! Thunk? There were three out possible. All options. the damage we did to fucking, and he's yep. still lost. There were three. What kind of pussy outcomes. was he? <laughs> <laughs> what were the three? Uh, no, there was just three. One, one taller one, one taller lost, and then one where they literally just killed each other. Oh. We could, have been, been that. we could have been that lucky. <laughs> oh. I mean, there wasn't. I think, if I remember correctly, it's it's just the die roll that determines it. Mm. <laughs> so I, I, I rolled right after that session and marked the result. And I'm like, well, this is going to come back. <laughs> and here we are. Well, no, we got this. We got this. Like, I'm going to take six attacks on my first turn and we'll go from there. <laughs> Oh my god.
Oh, oh no. no. I'm so tired of big spiders. Well, maybe this will be the last one. It better be. <laughs> so thank you all for joining us. We'll be back next week to continue this down the intrepid trail of the darkening of Mirkwood. And find everything else. I'm not going to say what they are, when they are, but we have stuff, I swear. Trigger schedule. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Stay proficient.